Three, two, one. Hello, I don't normally do tutorials like this, so bear with me. Um, someone on a server I was in was struggling with importing stuff into Unity for Unturned. Um, I've been doing this for a few years now, so I suppose I could be of help here. Um, I'm going to assume you already know your way around Blender, you already know your way around Unity, I'm just going to show you the step-by-step -step process. I'll explain bundling um, and all that jazz. So we just need to get our little asset into the folder here. You can just drag, you can use .blends. Uh, most people use .fbx. Um, you can use .blends because they'll be converted into, I think every file format's converted into .obj by Unity during the bundling process. I, I, I might be wrong, but so it doesn't really matter what you use. Um, I just like .fbx because I like to just be able to double click and then just have Blender open and then I can just fucking around with my nuts, nuts in my mouth. Oh, would you look at that? That's a nut, that's a smaller nut. So I can just um, have that all ready for me. Um, I can just update it. Yada yada. I don't need to have different source files. It's just everything is in my sources. It's all good, right? Now, I'm sometimes dot blend doesn't work. I'm pretty sure you need to. So first of all, you need to have blend like your computer recognize dot blend files always open with Blender. I think is one of the main one of the things you have to do. And I think there's also this file um, somewhere. I recall there being some kind of Python file like blender to fbx importer or something some point is sometimes this cannot work usually you can just search that and troubleshoot um i have a few like shortcuts built in not everyone's going to have that so i'm just going to do this by hand real quick um i'm just going to make some simple materials here unturned uses standard decalable oh geez that that doesn't quite look right uh compression's on a bit higher than intended Actually, I guess maybe it does look like that. Maybe it was intended to be trilinear by the artist. Uh, probably, you know what? Um, yeah, that was definitely intended to be trilinear. Anyway. Um, yeah, by default, um, everything uses standard decalable. Now, uh, another thing for the Unity illiterate among us... Um, you don't actually need to have your um, your props in any hierarchy. You could just put it in the main asset directory. It doesn't actually matter. Um, anyway, now you can just create an empty and then and or like and then create you know model underscore zero, model underscore one, model underscore two. I usually do two of those and then set the tags and layers. The large, you know, center it, add a mesh or box collider. Uh, it doesn't matter. Box colliders are more performant because of how mesh colliders work. If you're going to use a mesh collider, see if you can set it to convex instead. Um, and then you can add, you know, your mesh, mesh filters, mesh renderers, peanut. Throw down the nut one and the nut two. Uh, I recall, I think it's like this as well. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get rid of those. Usually for uh, collision, I'll use a more simplified version of the mesh. Um, oh, yes, that's right. That's, that's what else I'm forgetting. LOD groups you want to assign your meshes to lod's you you don't even need to have an lod group but generally it's a good idea you don't need to have two lod's you can have as many or as little as you like if you want more lod's you can do insert before insert before insert before insert before insert before i believe you can have something like you can do eight lod's so generally you'd probably want to have a uh, another lower res one. I'm just going to very quickly 
uh, create one, yeah, just using decimate. You don't actually need to apply uh, your modifiers. Uh, when Unity imports it, it will auto apply. So you can leave it unapply. I forgot to rename that. Uh, also, your blend files can be named fucking whatever. Um, I like to keep some form of organization. Oh dear. Oh, I see that's what happened. How humorous. Does it still exist or they just go to the shadow realm? Uh, sometimes that happens. Um, always keep your blend ones around just in case such an event occurs. If the dot meta file is deleted, uh, sometimes this can be lost. Data like that can be lost. Not always. Um, oh, noted. Uh, something to note. I, I forgot to mention this because I just have my default preset uh, for models set to import. But um, you want your imports to generally look like this. Convert units, yada, yada. Uh, mesh compression. You can set that on or off. What it does, um, in short, it snaps the vertexes to grids because the uh, the more, or I guess you need more data to have like a more precise location of something like like 1.10382 that that requires more information than just 1.1 or even just one so mesh compression will snap um, the vertexes of the mesh to a grid in order to decrease file size now that can work great but when you have something a bit more um, intensive, I I think this one played nice, but sometimes it can um, not play as nice with some models. Uh, I would show an example, but I can't think of one at the moment. But you can sometimes get um, some visible model distortion. So use that selectively. Normals. Um, most of the time, you can just set it to calculate 45 and be fine. It will just sm automatically smooth everything with a with a slope greater than 45. Or actually, it's not a slope greater than... Fuck, why am I thinking of slope? Um, with an um, angle greater than 45, you can set that as high as you want. Usually when you get to 90, uh, that's when shit starts getting weird. When... Um, the engine's no longer really able to um, to tell uh, sharp edges from smooth edges. Uh, I just like to set it to import and do my smoothing in Blender by hand. If we go here, you can see that this is marked as sharp. So I prefer that. It has a more degree of control. Um, and you can have sub meshes or whatever. Rigging and animation are off. You're not screwing around with those right now, probably. Um, I couldn't begin to describe that process right now just because I'm dead right now. Dumb brain. Um, we got our nut, though. Usually you want a decently accurate model, so this probably won't cut it. I mean, like, I guess this would, this would be fine, but uh, I mean, like... Actually, yeah, I, I would generally consider this fine. Make sure to set physics material. Um, usually people do tile when they're unsure. Um, oh, yeah, that's what convex does. Trigger, um, just if you can walk through it, yada, yada. Cooking options, I don't care. You'll occasionally want to recalculate the uh, bounds of your LODs. You can set fade modes. I don't think really anyone does. Oh, objects don't have any limits um, to how many um, components or LODs or whatever they have on them. Um, I don't even think you need to set tags, but most people do. Um, this whole thing up here, the static stuff, uh, doesn't do anything for Unturned. If you're doing work for other games, uh, this would be good for occlusion, but Unturned doesn't use baked occlusion because... Nelson was kind of dumb with how he set up the way maps load, so baked occlusion's impossible. Anyway, we've done all that. You know, we're great. We're 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 doing we're doing great. 
Um, let's just screw it. I'll throw down a large folder. And I'll throw in... Actually, you know, no, it'd be better if I just made my own folder here. Um, nut. Nut. Objects. Large. Uh, you can give it whatever you want. I'm just... You can name it whatever you want as long as the dat um, matches this. If we're doing master bundling, I'm just going to call it nut zero. Um, as of recent, clip prefabs are no longer necessary. So you can, you know, ignore those. Uh, you can double clip, click on a prefab to be able to edit it in prefab mode. And all instances of the prefab in the scene will be updated. It's not super useful for unturned, but it exists um anyway let's just make a clone oh also you can unpack a prefab we're gonna make a clone we still need to make a nav um it'd be i mean yeah having custom nav collision is actually pretty good uh never mind um i'm just going to take a capsule here capsule um this is on the z axis i think yep here we go um, oh, if you put a box collider on here, um, it will automatically shape itself. I'm just going to use a capsule collider because I think those are technically better uh, performance-wise, less data. You know, here, let me check. Uh, yeah, better. I think. It should be. There's less values it needs to hold, I think. Yeah, this is that's better. That's simpler on the data side. So just give it this for the nav. Uh, set your tags and layers to nav mesh. Throw them in. Boom, there you go. So now we want to bundle. You have two options. Um, you can use the master bundle tool or the bundle tool. Uh, if you don't have those in your project, how you get that in there is you go to unturned, bundles, sources, um, and these two, you drag these two Unity project. Well, I mean, you only need project.unity package, but if you're a new modder, you probably want example assets as well because that will put core master bundle and a whole bunch of other assets into your project for you to reference. Um, but all you need is project. Uh, anyway, if you want a master bundle, uh, just create, let's call it nut. You need to make a, uh, sorry, an asset label. Let's call it nut.masterbundle. That's not working. Why is that not working? Nut dot master bundle. And you go into Windows, unturned, master bundle tool, boom, boom. I don't want to bundle that. Uh, Multi-platform, you must have Mac and Linux support installed when you downloaded Unity. Um, you can then, you can retroactively install it. You can just go here, uh, add modules and just click the ones you want. Um, so you can do that. Um, anyways, you really don't need to do this for most of your bundles. Um, let's just, you know, I'm just gonna make a subfolder. I'm gonna call it um, D, why not? Select folder, doesn't uh, contain a master bundle dot dat, who cares, export. Um, this will get longer depending on how much data you're, um, bundling and also just how many files are in your, um, in your folders. Um, I'm going to yoink this copy here. That's the copy thing on windows 11. I think. Yeah. Go in here. Boom masterbundle.dat, more like, uh, this says some stuff. Uh, I don't really care, actually. Um, uh, I've not been doing this for my um, bundles, and it works fine. Uh, I probably should, though. Anyway, asset nut, nut.masterbundle. All right. Um, generally, whenever I'm writing... Um, Whenever I'm writing my um, 
my dat files, I very rarely actually um, write it from scratch. Usually what I do is I just go into um, here. I intended to open this in a different window. Bundles, objects, large, business, who cares? Um, go in here, yoink you. Um, work, thank you. Um, fucking who is texting me right now? Who the fuck needs my attention this bad? Apparently the police department wants me to look out for a missing person. Couldn't it be me? Um, anyways, not... You can have a, if you really want to, you could have a Russian dot dat or a French dot dat or a whatever language uh, Steam supports. And then depending on your localization loaded, it will load a different one. Anyway, um, yeah, just make sure it has um, clip prefab false in there. You have some other options. This is all about animation, so we can ignore that. We need a custom GUID. Um, so we're going to go to our good old web friend, GUIDgenerator.com. Generate without hyphens. Copy. Bang. I don't actually think you need an ID anymore. I'm just going to put some random number down. Hopefully that works. I mean, I don't have like any workshop items installed. Um, so it should do. Chart medium. You don't need to have that. Really, all you're going to want is this. 90% of things, but I'll leave chart medium in there. Um, I just realized, you know what? Uh, give me a second. I'm going to throw this. Also, um, I'm pretty sure this fol folder has to be called bundles. Um, however, in hindsight, I should have done a different directory. Who cares? Um, I'm going to boot unturned. I'm gonna load into this shit. I always need like something prepared for these. Um, right. Nut. The moment of truth. The nut. <laughs>